Electro L Russian Electro L is a new generation series of meteorological satellites developed for the Russian Federal Space Agency by NPO Lavochkin. The first satellite, Electro L No. 1, was launched on 20 January 2011. It is the first Russian weather satellite that successfully operates in geostationary orbit, and is currently the second operational Russian weather satellite. The satellites have a mass of about 1,620 kg and are designed to operate for 10 years each. They are capable of producing images of the Earth's whole hemisphere in both visible and infrared frequencies, providing data for climate change and ocean monitoring in addition to their primary weather forecasting role. <laughs> development Electro-L was developed by the company NPO Lavochkin and financed from the Russian Federal Space Programme 2006-2015. The satellites will be operated by and provide data for Roscosmos, Scientific Research Center of Space Hydrometeorology, Planeta, and for the Federal Service for Hydrometeorology and Environmental Monitoring of Russia, Roshydromet. Electro-L's predecessor was the Electro-1 satellite which was launched in 1994. Like Electro-L, it was also designed to operate in geostationary orbit, but never became fully operational. Along with the earlier Meteor M series, Electro-L satellites are part of Russia's aim to restore its weather satellite network. Before the launch of Electro-L No. 1, Russia had only one operational weather satellite in orbit, Meteor M No. 1, operating in an 830 km circular sun-synchronous orbit. Due to lack of satellites, Russia is forced to use meteorological data provided by American and European weather agencies. Aerospace journalist Anatoly Zak wrote that the launch of the first Electro-L satellite marked the re-emergence of Russia's space industry after two decades of economic turmoil." As the spacecraft and its standardized navigator platform were both conceived and developed after the disintegration of the Soviet Union. Purpose The Electro-L satellites are capable of providing weather analysis and forecasting both for the territory of Russia and worldwide. The satellites are able to image the entire hemisphere of Earth in visible and infrared frequencies, additionally providing data on climate change, as well as sea and ocean monitoring. An Electro-L satellite can be also be used to receive and relay COSPAS SARSAT emergency signals. The addition of Electro L No. 1 to Russia's weather satellite network is expected to make Russian weather forecasts more precise. Spacecraft The satellites have a mass of about 1,620 kg, with the payload mass being 435 kg. Their operational lifetime is expected to be 10 years. The mean power consumption of the spacecraft is 700 W, which is satisfied by solar panels providing 1.7 kW of power. Electro-L has a modular design, consisting of a payload and a service module. The service module, called Navigator and developed by NPO Lavochkin, is a standardized platform which will also serve as the basis for future Russian satellites, including for space telescope SPEKTRR. The spacecraft's MSUGS imaging system is able to provide a resolution of 1 km per pixel for the two visible bands and 4 km for eight infrared bands, ranging from 800 nm to 11,500 nm. They will normally take images every 30 minutes, but in case of emergencies, the interval can be shortened to 10 minutes. The camera is an optical mechanical scanner, sampling the visible bands at 12,576 pixels per line. Sensor data downlinked to Ground Acquisition and Distribution Center uses AX band 7.5 GHz frequency and has a data rate of 2.56 to 15.36 Mbps per second, while exchange of data between regional centers in X band at 8.2 and 7.5 GHz offers data rates of up to 15.36 Mbps per second. Topic. Launches <laughs> 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 
Topic: Electro L number no. one. The first spacecraft of the series, Electro L number no. one, was launched at 15.29 Moscow time, 12:29 Greenwich Mean Time, on the 20th of January 2011 from Pad 45 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. The launch vehicle used was a Zenit 2SB, developed by the Ukrainian Yuzhno Design Bureau. The rocket's third stage was a newly developed Fregat SB, a variation of the baseline Fregat, developed by Russia's NPO Lavochkin. At 15.37, the second stage separated and the Fregat SB continued lifting the spacecraft into geostationary orbit. The satellite separated from the upper stage at 028 on 21 January. On 21 January, Roscosmos announced that the spacecraft was fully operational. We have completed the first series of the testing. The spacecraft is fully operational," Deputy Head Anatoly Shilov said. The satellite's final orbital position in geostationary orbit is 159.1 degrees east longitude. <laughs> Electro L No. 2 The next satellite in the series, Electro L No. 2, initially slated for launch in 2013, was launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome on the 11th of December 2015 at 13:45 coordinated universal time. The launch vehicle was a Zenit 3F with Fregat SB upper stage. It was the rocket's 83rd and possibly last flight. 